Begin tonight with breaking news from the State House. Less than an hour ago, the House Republican Caucus voted to remove Representative Robert Watson as minority leader. The move comes less than two weeks after Watson was arrested in Connecticut for driving under the influence and possessing marijuana. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrada was the only TV reporter at the State House for today's caucus. He joins us live now with the breaking details. Well, Susan, only Eyewitness News was there as this new House Minority Leader was installed. He's Brian Newberry. It happened here inside the State House, as you said, just about less than an hour ago. Here is his announcement. And I am the new House Minority Leader, and uh, Joe Trillo is the new whip. Emerging from a closed-door vote, Brian Newberry announced to us he is the new House Minority Leader, replacing Robert Watson. The 6-2 vote came a week and a half after Watson was arrested in Connecticut on driving under the influence and marijuana charges. The reality is, I mean, let's face it, he was arrested in Connecticut for having illegal drugs. I can't, I know myself, I did not get a lot of feedback from my constituents, but I think other people did, that's part of the issue, and it's not a good role model for the Republican Party. Watson immediately left the meeting after the vote to oust him, but we caught up with him on the House floor. Do you think your ability to lead became ineffective after the drug arrest? Time remains. To, it, it, time will tell. But uh, In your opinion? Uh, in my opinion, no. Just last week, the Republicans decided to support Watson. So why this change of heart? We'll have all that new at 6 o'clock. We're live with exclusive breaking news tonight from the State House. I'm Alex DiPrato with the Providence Mobile Newsroom Eyewitness News.